Hey everybody and welcome back to our brand new video. So, last couple of weeks we've been doing ZBrush tutorials, but today, by popular demand, we're going to go back to Maya, right? Good old Maya. Now, we're going to be doing a human hand today, at least my take on that. And before we dive into today's video, I want to remind you guys that we have a thing going on where you can send in your own video, a 15 second clip, just saying hi, who you are, where you're from, and so forth, and there's a prize to win, right? So I'll put the link up here, and that said, let's jump into today's video. Here we go. This video has been made possible by RenderHub.com, the premier site for selling and buying your 3D-related content, such as 3D models, HDRI files, sound effects, textures, print-ready models, and much, much more. Okay, everybody, so we're in Maya 2020. We're gonna be doing a human hand today. Now, if you know my channel, you know I don't do a lot of character stuff. Uh, I will be doing this simplified method of how to approach modeling a human hand because I see a lot of people struggling with it, one, and two, because somebody asked me to do it, right? Now, I'm not sure whether I ever did a video on the hand before. I kind of recall that I did one a couple of years ago, maybe, uh, but, you know, things have changed, Maya changed, so, you know, we'll just go with it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a polygon cube. And there you go. And I'm going to jump into this view right here. And I got my X-ray on, which is this double Q button up here. So we're going to move that over here to the corner. And then I'm going to right click and go to vertex. Drag like that one, move that over there. This one all the way up to basically the base of the pink, pinky. Yep. And this all the way up here like that, right? Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go in, we're going to go to Insert Edge Loop, Option Box. We'll set it to Multiple and 3, All right? Boom, there we go. I'll turn off my X-ray for a sec so you can see what's going on. And I want these to be at the position in between the fingers, okay? So we're going to right-click go to Vertex, that one's good. This one, Vertex, yeah. We're going to W, we're going to move it, that's going to be there. That's going to be about here. That one will be about there. And that will be about there. That's kind of the shape we want. And then we're going to go back in here. And I'm going to set this to manual. And we'll put one in here like so. And that would be, I would say, about there. Okay. Q on the keyboard once again. We're going to right click go to vertex. Grab that one, hit W, move it here, turn back on my X-ray, that one, right? Let's see, we'll uh, push that up to just below that knuckle, we'll push that one here. Actually, we don't need to do that, let's go back. I just want to have that flow, so we'll turn this off. Uh, let's see, so that one's going to come down a bit. That one's okay. That one will be raised slightly. And then I'll turn back on my x-ray and look at the bottom here. Maybe bring this one in a little bit. All right? Okay, cool. Okay, so now that I have that, what I want to do next is I want to take this line right here. And just this part. And pull that out like so. And then we're going to go to the top and we're going to right click at a face and select these four faces. Okay. We're going to control E to extrude, but make sure keep face together is turned off. Okay. We're going to move this up like so. And initially don't worry about it too much. We'll get this all sorted. Right. So we're going to pull this up until we're basically, and I'm just looking at the left finger right now. We're basically sitting right there. Let's see if everything is working out correctly. I think it is. If we can move this guy, we're good. Yeah. Okay, so let's get this sorted before we get into the next section. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna right click, go to vertex. We're gonna drag select on that and we're gonna hit R. And for now, I'll turn on my x-ray so you can see it better, right? And we're focusing on the outside of the finger, obviously not the uh, 
the the bone inside but we do have a good indication of where the finger will uh, bend this will be slightly higher here this is going to be about here like this and this will be way lower that's going to be here and here okay try to keep things fairly straight and that will also get a, give you a good indication of the length of the fingers, right? This one's going to come out just a little. That seems to be all right. And then what we're going to do before we move forward is we're going to go in here to face, right? Shift select these guys. And we're going to hit R and we're going to slightly push that in like so, right? We're going to control E to extrude again keep face together is still off although they're not touching anymore right now so it's not such a concern and what we're going to do is we're going to move that up and basically kind of repeat that process that we did just now right okay so we're going to go in here and these look okay this can come in just a bit let's do that here and here we'll do the same thing here and I'll leave transparency off so you guys can see what's what. And then we got this. Needs to come down a bit. All right. And then we'll go in here and we'll do that one more time. Control E, W to pull up. And there we go. And pull that up to, let's say, the top there. Q on the keyboard. And I'm going to go in here. Now I'm going to turn back on my X-ray. And I'm going to go into Vertex. Drag select the top right there. Hit R, kind of scale that in a bit. W to move that. We'll take this. We'll again hit R, just a little. W to raise that up, which based on a reference would be about here. Let's scale it up a little bit. Do the same here. Scale it in. Move it. And then this section right here. And move that in. All right. Okay. So let's see what we've got so far. All right. So now that we have that, and we have a little issue here, looks like, that I need to fix. Now I'm just going to make sure that all the vertices are connected properly. So I'm just going to drag select. We're going to get to add mesh and merge. There you go. All right. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to take these edges. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. Yeah. And we're going to hit E and we're going to slightly rotate them. Pull them down just a tad and move them forward like this. We'll do the same here. And because we just have one flat reference here, we kind of need to eyeball that. Okay. So again, we're going to tilt those forward. We're going to hit W, we're going to move that forward like so. Uh, we might need to have to tweak them individually, but we'll see. And then we'll take these faces here. One, two, three, and four. We'll move them forward. And that will make it look a little bit more like a hand. Okay. So we've got that. And now, uh, despite popular belief, we're going to do the thumb. And the thumb is not connected to the side. It's connected to the front, right? So that's going to be in here. So we're going to take this guy and we're going to take this guy. Control E to extrude. W pull out like so. Okay. And then we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to right click go to edge. We're going to take this bottom one, pull that back in like so. All right. Take this guy, pull that back in. 
and we're going to extend the thumb based on this guy. So control E to extrude. Let's pull that up to about here, All right? We're going to hit R to scale that in a little bit. Let's go in here and take these vertices at the bottom. And then we're going to go in again. Extrude that again. Scale it down a bit. A bit more, yeah. And then we're going to start to play with this a little bit. So we're going to go in here, we're going to get an edge. We're going to take this edge and that edge. Actually, maybe just the vertices. We'll take this vertex right here. And what I'm going to do now is get rid of this reference here. It's getting in my way. Yeah, there you go. So we're going to go in here and what we're going to do is we're going to go into vertex, drag like this guy, hit W, kind of push it out like this, right? Then we want this to come in a little bit. So we're going to curve that inwards and maybe even rotate that a little like so, right? We're going to go into edge, this one, and let's tweak that a little bit like so. And that's not too bad. Then we're going to go in here to vertex. So we're going to take this one hit W, move it like this, and then move that forward a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to take this one down here and move that inward just a bit. Okay. So that's what we have so far. Uh, let's see. This needs to come in back a little bit. Take that one and have that come out. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this area right here. So this edge. Something like that, right? Okay, so uh, if we preview smooth this, we'll get very pointy fingers because we've got nothing holding those edges there, right? But we'll try. We'll hit three. And it kind of looks like a glove, right? Here you can see that down here we need to adjust that. So we're going to want to go back. First of all, we don't need those faces down here. So let's get rid of those. Oop. Not the one in the back. that delete that there we go and let's see what else we can do we're going to go in here we'll do insert edge loop still set the single we'll put one in there um, want to hold that edge there and yeah I think what we need to do is take in this edge right here and pull that one out a little bit and then we are starting to look good All right, so um, we're gonna hit three to preview smooth. We'll give you something like this. And uh, the pinky looks a bit off, but you get the idea. Uh, we can easily adjust that. We're just gonna right click, go to vertex, drag, select, bring that in a little bit. And there you would have a very simple stylized hand, All right? Let's uh, make sure this pinky doesn't look That's weird. There you go. Yeah. Okay.
So that's it for the simple uh, stylized hand. Uh, hopefully that gave you an idea how to approach it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, let me know. Uh, like I said, I am not a character uh, modeler, but this is my approach. So hopefully it's helpful for you guys. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching as always, and see you guys next time. Bye.